Hello again, everybody. Welcome to OCVarsity.com for a little special look at something. We got a, a clip of a video from the Cox 3 broadcast of the El Toro Tesoro game of a couple weeks back. Pretty interesting thing to look at here. It's the opening kickoff of the game. And as you can see here, you've got the kicker, Roger Howard of El Toro, launches the ball, watching the flight of the ball. And then you see a player from Tesoro, Parker Wells, one of the hardest hitting guys that I've seen play football all year. Pretty much just takes aim at Roger Howard, cleans him out, and then he just goes running off to the sideline here. You know, fortunately, Roger Howard gets back up. He's okay. He's, you know, can play the rest of the game. So it was a clean hit. It wasn't a dirty hit at all. A vicious hit, definitely, as some of the broadcasters of Cox 3 described it. A couple things that bothered me when I saw this thing was the two angles. You look at the sideline angle, and you look at those players in the Tesoro sideline. And what they're doing is they're not watching the flight of the ball as it's heading to the end zone. They're watching the kicker, and they're watching Parker Wells because they know something's going to happen. And then when it does happen, they get pretty excited about it and jump up and down. The other angle that's kind of interesting to look at here is the one from behind the end zone. Okay, you look at uh, Mr. Wells. You know, he gets his, gets his good shot there on Roger Howard, and then he just runs off to the sideline. He's not looking back to see if there's a return and do I need to block more fellas. You know, is it a touchback? He's not paying attention to that. It's like, my job's done. I'm done what I'm supposed to do. I'm out of here. Again, it's not a dirty hit. It's not illegal. Well, it was illegal because the gosh darn ref threw a flag. But it's not, you know, we've seen worse. But, um, you know, the thing that kind of bugs people, maybe that you see that thing, is the intent of what was going on here is a little excessive. Is it an excessive hit to you, Carlos? It's not a little excessive. It's excessive. Yeah. Um, it's uncalled for. Um, it doesn't do anything, you know, to uh, advance your your game. Um, it's just straight up going after a guy. And uh, you know, I, it's football. You play hard. Nobody's gonna get mad about hard hits. Yeah. That just seemed like you know, so, you're supposed to always protect yourself on the field. I yeah. understand all that stuff, but uh, it's like in in boxing when you go to shake. Shake, uh, shake gloves before the fight, and you just clock the guy. Yeah. You know, okay, that's not illegal, but was that was that a fair thing to do? Right. That's how I look at it. Yeah, and we're talking. Of, we just heard from a guy who loves MMA stuff, man. So, you know, interesting perspective. Dan, what do you think? Well, you know, I, I want to first say that you know I think it's good that the video's out there because I hope other kids and players and coaches look at this and take it as I think as a as a lesson. I mean, that's what we're supposed to get. You know, in high school sports, we're dealing with high school kids and young coaches and, you know, people that maybe are new to sports. I hope everybody looks at it and sees the lesson. And I think the lesson in it to me that I think just jumps off the screen is that I don't think Tesoros, they're not showing respect for the game in doing that. Because, I mean, I got a lot of respect for these kids, Tesoro kids and El Toro kids and football players. You step in between the lines, football is aggressive enough. It is a physical contact sport. You're going to get your chances. You play linebacker, you're going to get your chances to play the, play the game. It doesn't need to be any more physical. You don't need to go after the kicker like that. Um, I think it was, I think it, I disagree. I think it was a dirty play. I think it was a cheap play. It's a cheap shot, and it's not respecting the game because the game is rough enough already, and you got plenty of chances to tackle guys between the whistles, between the lines, and uh, let's play some football. Let's not be going after quarterback, I mean, going after kickers. Are we going to go after quarterbacks going off the field? Um, I mean, it's respect the game, respect your opponent. I mean, um, Tesoro should be very happy to be stepping on a field against a worthy opponent. El Toro should have been happy to step on the field with a worthy opponent. Uh, El Toro mission this weekend, they should be happy that we're, everyone's excited to see them play. So play the game. Play football. Let's not go after kickers and people that aren't defenseless. Wait, play the, just play the game. I don't think they're playing football. I don't think they're respecting the game. And I hope everybody looks at the video and says, hey, that's not football. That's not what, that's not what we practice, you know, that we're hitting defenseless kickers. Tackle the guy. Tackle the running back. Tackle the guy with the ball. Okay, the kicker doesn't have the ball. Tackle the ball. You know, make a play. Score a touchdown. Get to the end zone. Play the whistle. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, you know, lose with honor, win with class. You know, it's, it's very simple. You go out there, you want to, you know, put up a courageous, you know, brave performance. That's it. You don't want to be known for taking shots at people. That's what we think. And we asked Coach Robert Frith, Veltor, and a couple of players what they thought of that play. Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, just, I know they were trying to just intimidate us or whatever with that hit, but uh, it's in the past. I'll let 
all the uh, administration do with that and stuff, but we're just focused on Mission Bio this week and uh, getting a W. I mean, I think people can agree. It's, it's a little bit uncalled for, but, you know, uh, we can't really focus on that type of thing. Um, we'll let the people who are in charge of that, administration or whatever, um, you know, take on that. But we really, we look at it as, we look at it as motivation, you know. They want to do that in our house. Um, you know, let's take it to them and, and show them that, that we're here to play. So. And then you guys went on to beat them, 41-31. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, we can't deal with that. It's not something that, that's within our grasp. Um, we'll let whatever happens, happens with that. I mean, it's not really our thing to, to talk about, you know. First and foremost, uh, I can't comment on, you know, the intent or the, the philosophy behind the play itself. But I was real happy to see Roger Howard get up, you know, and continue to p perform well and, you know, put the ball in the end zone. Um, you know, so it's just an unfortunate play for everybody. But like I said, you know, I'm, I'm just happy that our kid's okay and that he continued to perform well. Who says kickers aren't tough? Yeah, n not, not me. So we've heard some opinions of that play. What are your opinions? Take a look at it. Go into the comments here at OCVarsity.com. Let us know your opinions of what you thought of this particular incident here at OCVarsity.com. We've got you covered.